Former President Donald Trump has been fined more than $350 million in a civil fraud case. The judge ruled that fraud was committed when the Trump Organization overvalued its assets to get loans. ABC's Arena Roy explains. After a contentious 11-week trial, Judge Arthur Engeron announcing his ruling in the civil financial fraud trial against Donald Trump. The judge fining the former president $354 million, his eldest sons $4 million apiece, also banning them from the New York real estate business for three years. This really gets to the heart of their livelihood in, in terms of what they do for a living, how they generate their income. So this can be potentially devastating for him and his entire uh, business empire. New York Attorney General Letitia James brought the case accusing the former president, his eldest sons, Eric and Donald Trump Jr., plus top Trump Organization officials of conducting a decade's worth of business based on numerous acts of fraud and misrepresentation. The judge had already ruled in a partial summary judgment that Trump had submitted fraudulent valuations for his assets. James had asked the court for a $370 million fine. The New York AG also requested that Trump and his two former deputies at the company, Alan Weisselberg and Jeffrey McConney, be barred for life from the New York real estate industry. Throughout the trial, interactions between the judge, the former president, and his lawyers were heated. Trump's social media messages and comments outside the court even led to a partial gag order and fines. It's a disgrace and they should pay me damages. The former president has always denied any wrongdoing. His lawyers saying the accusations are part of a political agenda. Trump calling the case a witch hunt and has said his financial statements were perfect. This is a case that should have never been brought and it was brought. Trump has already appealed Judge Engeron's earlier ruling that he committed fraud, and it's likely he'll appeal this latest ruling by the judge. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.